Hey there, so I'm Fitty Bitty Sierra Co. and I am here to do my December haul, which how I do my hauls is less of when I ordered it and more of when it arrived, which is all stuff that arrived in December. So this includes all my Black Friday shopping, which, oh gosh, you know, I was doing so good and then I ruined it, but I have so much to show you. I have orders, I have a couple mysteries, I have part of an advent, it's all so much and the worst part well I say the worst because like I love sticker mail the best part slash worst part is this isn't all of it so I got some gifts that I didn't really want to share but they were amazing and so like my sticker heart and my like friend heart is really full my bank account is empty but that's cool so let's just get started um there's no particular order it's just kind of how I stacked it so the first one is beyond paper flowers this was a freebie from one of the sales, but then she's been really great about bringing the freebies to the shop, and I needed this. Also, sorry about my nails, y'all. This trip was rough on them, and I haven't gotten to take them off, so I needed this. Like, I cannot wait to use this in my planner for Halloween. Look at the little zombie. You get it because it's a bee? Okay, let's see. Per a normal captivity. That one's hard to say, but it's like little ghost kitty cats creeping it real, and it's like the cutest little spider you ever saw. Which, please... Fantastic, a little bat, <laughs> cattle lanterns, and then you have date covers, and then you have like these cute little, they're almost like postage stamp size, super, super cute. So like, this is definitely not my usual amount of stickers for a week, but somehow I feel like I have it in me to make it work. We'll see, I might, I might chicken out, but like tentatively, this color palette is amazing, and I just feel like I, I can make it work, and it's going to be so cute. So yeah. I think sometime in Halloween in the next 20 years. So that was it from my Beyond Paper Flowers order. Um, I got after it with this like other shops, but this one was really, she was, she was like a small order. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired. We just got back from our trip yesterday and I'm wore out. So next up is Scribble Prince Co. I have a grab bag, a bunch of freebies, and then some kits. So let's just start with this little grab bag. All I did was buy the Doodles grab bag. So they're like misfits. And I'm about these. I think they're so cute. I even ordered two more. So they are, none of them really look miscut. There's a couple that are like, I kind of see where you're coming from, but I feel like these could easily be like overstock. I don't know. I needed some more of them. As so I did that, and then I had a whole bunch of freebie foil over this order. So, I mean, like a lot of freebie foil. So I'm not entirely sure like what was going on, but I'm really thankful because like, look how cute all this is. I'm still going. Still more foil. So many tiny foils. Like, so generous. I don't know. I'm about it. So that was that. I'm going to have to go through it and decide what I want to keep. But, like, I kind of want to keep it all. And then this was my order. So I picked up this kit. It is the fitness kit. I don't know. I just really like the colors. I was about it. I got the mini kit per usual. So cute. So cute. Oh my goodness. And then I also picked up the doodle sampler because I really like her doodles. The label sampler because that's how I roll. And then I, I thought this was pretty cute. I think this is a freebie, but I just, look how nice and organized this all is. Then the next one I picked up <laughs> was the under the weather because you guys know I tried to die from the flu recently, right? Like a couple months back, July or something like that. And that was my only like at home sick kit. And I, then I saw this one. This is exclusive art. And I was like, oh, this is me. Like this crumpled bed, taking a bath, just being just wore out. So yeah, I picked this up. I love it. It's so cute. I do read a lot when I'm sick and nap. I nap a lot. And then I also got the label sampler. And I think I bought this. And I think this was a freebie. Yes, I think I bought this. I don't know. There's plenty of boxes. So hopefully I don't get sick again like that. But if I do, that kit's going to be really cute. And when I have nothing on in my planner, I guess. Um, sorry, I'm trying to put everything away. When I have nothing in my planner, I'll have plenty of full boxes, which is kind of like, I mean, I can't be mad about that. Next up is what I kept of the, um, of the Cricut Paper Co. Advent. I didn't keep it all. I kept these two washies. So this one is just kind of like Ray Dunn inspired. It says Coco. And then I just really liked the stripe. I thought it was pretty cute. So those are the two washies that I kept. And this is, this is what I kept from the actual Advent. There was this outfit was, she was chock full of stuff, but I'm not a big fan of like the journaling stuff. So I de-stashed that to someone who hopefully will use it. So we have these really pretty foil date stuff. These are cool boxes. 
I kept the currently reading stuff, started and finished. I thought these were pretty, so I went ahead and kept all this. Like, come on, how cute is that? I don't want to use that. Maybe put that off to the side. These are cool. These are cancel stickers, but they're on kind of like a, okay, come on, you can do it. Okay, well, if I can get this to peel. All right, well, this is not completely, like it's kind of frosted. I'm gonna be able to get this right. This, this one might not be cut, oh, there it goes. Okay, I just had to do it the right way. So they're clear, but kind of frosted, so pretty. And I thought these were cool. And I thought these were neat. And I like the scallop. And I really, really like these teeny tiny guys. I'm torn on these, but I decided to keep them. And then here's the actual kit. I really like it. I think it's cute. Um, I really like this color right here. This like pop of this like pinky orange yellow thing. So I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of here for it. Very wintry, very cute. So yeah, that's what I kept from the Advent from Cricut Paper Co. It was a really good value. It's like 100 bucks, and had I actually kept it all, it would have been well over that, but I didn't. So. Next is a OK Cat Buns. Was this an order or a swap? I think this was a swap. I think we swapped. So anyway, um, yeah, I sent her Halloween Molly, and she sent me this. It is so cute. I wanted to use it for the week that me and Sine went to the... Um, enchant lights in Dallas, but I didn't have it in time for me to film my plan with me. So this will just get to hang out until next year. I love it. And then she sent me the cutest little sticky notes. Like, oh, how cute. Oh, so adorable. Love it. And they're post-it brand. So, oh, hey, Cat Buns is a really cute cat shop. She does all the art. And I just, I love her color palettes. And she's super nice. So, like, if you're interested in a shop who the shop owner is just really, really lovely, you should check her out. So cute. Love it. Next up is Tipsy Dog Designs. So I have a very small order, but I wanted this like summer one because it's like, I mean, I'm not going to read these out because some of them have bad words in them, I think, right? One of these does. I don't know. I don't know. This is me. Is it too early to start whining about the heat? I'm already whining. It's January and it's 80 something degrees. What is this? And then this one's allergies, which I have pretty bad allergies. And that, this one made me laugh. I don't know why. So we're going to think maybe once I get around to actually using these because who's to say when that'll happen I think it'll be kind of fun to bring in my leftovers binder and really really curate a fun spread with just things that I've had forever from kits long since past so kind of excited about both of these super cute love them both next up is no white say stickers I really wanted to grab this like ticket washi or ticket book I guess maybe I don't know I don't go to Disney I just thought it was really cute. I missed out on the trash cans. And I know that sounds weird, but the trash can washi, I forgot about ordering it and then it sold out. So that was my bad. But like, how cute is this? So then I also picked up the deco stickers to go with it. I thought they were cute. And then here's the trash cans. But I was so sad about missing the trash can washi. It was so fun. And then I also got the monorail. I just, I don't know. Again, haven't went to Disney, but just decided, like, what if I decided to and I needed the monorail? I was going to be really sad if I didn't get it. So, anyway, that was it from the No White Spade sticker stuff. Super cute. Next up is Avalon and Ninth. I'm so hype about this one. So, this was her offering for the Black Friday. This was her take on the books, and it's kind of like you're opening a door into the different books, which I think is so, so cool. A really cool take on it. Like, look at that. Frankenstein. I just, I don't know. I really, really liked it. So cool. And the color palette's fun. She always has interesting color palettes because she does the full seven, sometimes eight colors. So I really, I was about it. I was like pretty tickle pink about this one. I don't know why. Really fun take on it, in my opinion. And then I got one of the freebies, which I love this freebie. So like, Amanda, if you're watching this, I would be totally down if this entire thing came to the shop because like, like, it's so cute with the food. And then she was really nice. And she sent me some of these um, washi cards. So they're metal washi cards. And like, how cute is this? I love them. So happy with that. So thank you, Amanda, for the extras. And like, y'all need to check out the shop. Yeah, you need to check out all these shops. They're all really good. Next up's Creating & Co. Y'all, I can't handle how cute this one is. Oh my goodness. So this is like a cryptids kit. So you have like a little Nessie slash Ogopogo. I mean, there's a Sasquatch there. You got a little Mothman, little Chupacabra situation going on. I can't handle how cute this is. And I love the colors. They're just, I mean, they're very, I don't know. I can't say they're basic colors because there's definitely this green is really unique to me anyway. But I just, 
I thought it was cute. I would have expected like brown with it. So I actually really, really like the color she chose. Oh, I'm so excited. And the shop owner is like the nicest person. So I feel like this kit isn't going to make it through the end of the year, but it might because like I can't. Oh, they're all so cute. And the deco. Oh my gosh, the deco is adorable. I don't know. I'm about it. I can't wait. I know this is going to be super cute. And I'm thinking what I want to do is bring in some blue washi. And you know I have something from my stash. Or even like a little pop of the red because there's two little red. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm ready. Okay, I'm trying to get through this really fast because I have a ton of stuff. Sorry if I'm rushing it and you guys wanted to look at stuff a little longer. My bad. So next up is my Pink Diamond Planner Co. order. This is actually two orders. The first order had a bit of a shenanigan. I will say that, like, it sat in pre shimmer for, like, three weeks and then all of a sudden it teleported to my post office. It was very strange. So I reordered the August 22 Mystery, which was the Salem one. I needed it. Like, this kit is just, oh, I loved how that spread turned out. So, yeah, I just needed it. So, here we go. Then, I really, really like November 2022 mystery. I just think the, like, I want to go on an Alaskan cruise. That's kind of what I'm, like, in the market for in the next couple years is an Alaskan cruise. Kevin and I can fly up to Seattle, hop a boat for a week, and just, I want to walk on a glacier. I want to see whales. So, this is kind of what I, I imagine my life would be like. If I was on an Alaskan cruise, I really want to see the Aurora Borealis as well. So cute. So cute. And then it, I think these were the doodles that came with it. Super cute. Oh, sorry. Super cute green. This is a freebie, just random freebie. So throw it over here. And then this one was the October 22 mystery. This is the one I really wanted to use when I went with Sine to Enchant. Um, like after... The Oh Hey Cat Buns wasn't going to come, then this one wasn't going to come. Ended up settling on the Scribble Prince Co., which I'm not mad about. But, like, I love the colors of this one. So, I'm going to omit the two people just because those aren't my jam. But the colors are beautiful. Super unique for a winter kit. I really, really like it. Oh, and I love this bed. It's kind of like a royal bed chamber sort of situation. So cute. And then doodles, which are really cute. And I like, I, I just think the colors are so fun. I mean, like, so fun. Okay, so that was it for Pink Diamond Planner Co. They were mostly mysteries because I just have no chill. Next up is what I did at Crest Press. New Crest Press also. This order actually had more to it. It had the Cyber Mystery in it. Um, and it also had some grab kits. But I don't know what I did with those. I don't know. Who's to say? So I went ahead and picked up the Gold Movie Night one. So pretty. Picked up this... I'm gonna put it the right way. Is this the right way? Yeah. Gold beach one. Picked up this like hollow. Oops. This hollow beach one. So pretty. Another and then two more movies. I did silver and then I did rose gold. So I basically got all the movie foils. So I got all these bundles. I was pretty hype about it. Why? Well, I just felt like I needed them. I need something to come out with a little mermaid bundle because Lord knows I have a lot of Little Mermaid kits coming. All right, next up is Glam Planner. So Glam Planner, I've been looking at this kit for a while, and finally, during her Black Friday sale, it was on super discount, because I think this was a glitch, and I love it. I just love it. I don't have any plans to go winter camping where there would be polar bears, but I needed it. And so eventually maybe, because like winter camping is something you do in Texas, like you do. It doesn't look anything like this. There's no snow, but at least it's bearable because it's not like 120 degrees outside. So maybe, but this strikes me as something I will be hoarding for a while. I don't know why, but I'm obsessed. I just think it's so pretty. I know Kevin's going to Banff in August to go camping, which Banff's in Canada. So I'm assuming there will be no snow, but it's still kind of cold. So you could kind of use it. I don't know. I just needed it. Who's to say? I might just randomly use it one time for a winter kit and just be like, I don't care. I love it. So cute. Next up is Sweet Kawhi Design. And I want to say this is like three odd orders or so. Um, let's start with this. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I got these reading critters, which I already had a sheet of these, but I needed another one. And then I apparently got another one. Does that seem like something I would do? I mean, this seems like it's in my wheelhouse. Then we have the November freebie. I really like these. These are cute. Then we have the Frank freebie. So cute. Then I got these itty bitty bookworms. 
And then I got one of the Freebie Friday ones, which is cute. I already used part of the December Freebie, which is this bath one, which I needed it. And then I like this Don't Stop Be Leaving. Super funny. And then I used one of these like little cold critters for my trip to Washington. And then Tasia was really nice. And I missed the sub kit because I don't I don't know what happened. Did I I I, I definitely clicked like not interested, but I'm not sure why. And then I saw everybody planning with it, like the PR team, and I meant to go do it again, like re-up it, and I messed up. Anyway, she was really nice when we were chatting and she sent me this and like oh so excited so excited so happy I just I'm here for it the colors are so good that green that orange and I wanted to use it this year but I couldn't talk myself into it so I'm definitely going to be hoarding this for a while I also grossly out of order obviously so happy thank you again Tasha, for this like you do not even understand I just oh I'm so happy like oh it's so cute I definitely need to like stop just like skipping things I should just get them all because like I'll love them all but like this is so I don't know this one's so good just oh so good I love it it's like I think it's fall bucket list was the theme so like it's soup season let's stay home like oh I love it okay yeah yeah this is so good so good okay then we have the last two things are two mysteries we have a cyber monday mystery and then I believe we have like a is it a January I don't know what's going on. Um, yes. Yeah, so this one, if you want to like not see some mysteries, I would boot scoot and boogie on out. So we'll just we'll just wait a second. Like click click gone if you don't want to see it. Okay. Okay. It's time. It's time I'm coming in. All right. So this is the Caress Press 2022 Cyber Monday mystery. It's called Starry Nights. This is kind of like an so this is interesting to me. First off, I don't like it as much as I liked last year's, which is the reason I went ahead and purchased this because of how much I like last year's, but both were space themed and apparently I have a thing for that. So this is like an artist kind of loft, but like space themed. So purple is one of my least favorite colors. It's just, it is what it is. And this is a very purple heavy kit. So while I really think this is a cool theme, this is not my favorite thing that I've ever seen. But again, really cool theme. And I, I mean, I have to give it to her. It's a really cool theme, but like it's all artsy. It's just, it's cute, right? And this color is exceptional. Like I, I feel like I want to use more of that in my shop. So then you have like, and it's all celestial. So it's just, it's really neat. And then I thought this was cool. On the back of her pants is like a Van Gogh scene. I thought that was really cool. And then she's like passed out from doing all her art. She's so tired. Deco. Then you have this like pancake box with all the stars. Really cool. And then you have um, the 15 millimeter strip. And then the foil bundle. I really like the foil bundle. I got the mini. So it doesn't come with all the bonus goodies. But here's just the full box overlays. I guess these are headers and more full box overlays. Then this is the washi overlay. So pretty. Oh, it's pretty. And then this is like scripts and icons. But so like while this kit is not my jam, like my super jam, I do feel like there will be a time and a place that I'll be flipping through my stash and be like, you know, I want to use it. I really want to use it. And I'm definitely going to use this little bum because I just think that's really cute. Plus, Bingo is my favorite. Um, so I'll probably leave out, definitely leave out the designer. I just, I don't really get that. I do like the pin. You know, we'll just have to see what happens in the next 20 years when I get around to using it. But I liked it enough to keep it. It just wasn't like, it didn't blow me out of um, the water. So this one is the January Mystery from Scribble Prince Co. All right, this one I love. I love. I think I'm going to use it for my birthday. It is like, so I think she said every January she tries to do a kit that's like birthday themed. I don't necessarily get birthday with this, but I can see where you could get birthday with this. But this is just like summer celebration, but I'm a summer birthday. And I also don't love strawberries as a food, but I love strawberries as an aesthetic. So I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, I love the colors. I just think it's fun. This dress is so cute. I even drew Molly in this little dress once. That was really cute. So pleased with it. I love how it turned out. So cute. So yeah, I'm really hyped for this one. Um, I saw the spoiler and I was like, OMG, I need it. And then this is perfect for a quote. And if I use it for my birthday, I can put like, happy birthday. And then I'm not, I'm not sure about this bonus color. Like I'm trying, but I'm just not sure about this bonus color. It looks great mixed in here, but as like a standalone color she's not my jam but 
really like it. And then we have some girls, which is kind of cool. I like this outfit. I don't, none of the girls really speak to me. So I'll probably only use this once and omit some of these ladies. Um, and then use the, all this extra bonus goodness, but it's really cute. And then the foil, <gasps> y'all, the foil is a collab with Caress Press and she always has good foil bundles. So she included first this like really pretty red, um, just sampler, which you've seen me use these a couple times cause I've gotten a couple sampler. Ooh, it's on clear on the back. Well, that's neat and new, but this Caress Press, oh my gosh, it's strawberries. Look at it. Oh, isn't that pretty? And it's like little half strawberries and full strawberries and gingham. And I just love it. And I think what I'm going to do is omit the gingham here just because that's a lot. And we have more strawberries, more strawberry headers. And then look at these underlays. So this is definitely going to be full foil for me because I can't with this. I just really like it. Really, really happy about it. So yeah, that was that. And then there's also like this little birthday add-on, like may your wishes come true, birthday babe, a very happy birthday to you. So because I think I am going to use it for my birthday, um, though I do have a birthday Molly kit coming out that might end up working. I don't really know, but like, I feel like, where is it? I'll find it. Please hold. Okay, I feel like like happy birthday on this one would be so good. May your wishes come true. A very, oh, that one's really good. Very happy birthday to you, but it's to me. I don't really like the birthday babe one so much, but I oh, I like it. I'm going to have to decide what I want to do because Molly birthday kit, you know, is going to be cute. But like this one's so good and I'm so bad about hoarding the mysteries and I really should use them. So anyway, that was a 21 minute haul. I hope you guys sat through the whole thing because there was some straight up goodness up in here. And uh, yeah, I hope you found something that you might want to hit the hop over and find because I love watching haul videos. Just a little bit of FOMO, but like a little bit of like shops I didn't really think to look at. And then I'm like, oh, this is amazing. So anyway, um, thank you so much for stopping by. I would love if you gave this video a thumbs up. If you decide to come join the Anybody Circle Co family, that would be amazing. And just hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.